What's going on everybody welcome back to another Madden 22 video in this video we are finally going to be getting into the mutt process um, this is on EA access so this is now my full team and what I'm about to show you is my packs that I pulled earlier this morning and then after that show you a little bit of my team my playbooks my record so far on mutt and then maybe uh, just maybe get a couple of highlights in there whether it be on YouTube shorts or something because I've had some nice plays I streamed a little bit earlier today twitch.tv backslash pov and lacot I'm going to be trying to stream more and more often. But yeah, man, let's just jump into the packs. I got some crazy pulls out of these Elite Platinum packs, Gridiron packs, and Elite packs in general. So right here, guys, this is our first Elite Fantasy pack. If you haven't bought those, they're 500 points a pop. I recommend you buying them. And we're going to start off with a huge, massive dub. Stephon Diggs, quick sell Miles Garrett, who we at the end chose. Uh, he went for 180K. Um, I mean, that's just how you started. And then Montez Sweat. We obviously went with... Miles Garrett, um, I should have maybe held on to him, but at the end of the day, I just want to get my team right, right away, and, you know, uh, I end up quick sending him later on, and then look how much he is, 170,000 coins. That's how you start off a pack opening, the, the beginning of a pack opening sets the whole mood, as right here, we're going to open up our second one, and what we actually end up getting is going to be Jesse Bates, 85 quick sell Jesse Bates, so not bad at all. And he actually ended up going for about approximately 82,000 coins. So, you know, just like that, we've made 250,000 coins off two packs. Go open up those weekly fantasy packs. So right here, here we go with our official packs. First pack, we're going to get elite overall with Matthew Juron, DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf is definitely a solid backup. It's right here. We're going to pull Fletcher Cox, big Fletch in the building, 85 overall. He ended up going for 80,000 coins or so. And right here in this pack open, Ning, in this pack itself, we got Cole Beasley and like Trey Turner, I believe that was, or someone, some guard on the Carolina Panthers, and boom. Fourth or fifth pack in, Jalen Ramsey, 88 overall. That's as high as overall as you could expect in the first day of Madden. And, you know, I was hype. I wish I could really start this card, man, but there's just so many faster cornerbacks. Um, maybe playing him up, up top wouldn't be bad at all because, you know, Ramsey could always hit. So, you know, he has that option of hitting. And then, um, you know, he's just a little slow. So we end up pulling Ramsey. I was super hype about this. Just look at his card art, and you see me right there capturing the screenshot. Right here, Josh Lambeau, not bad. And then here we go with uh, Harrison Butker, and I believe that's Carl Lawson. Uh, that Butker goes for like 40-ish K. Right here, we get Justin Reed. I mean, he's a solid user option for many years and many Maddens. Right here, we get Montez Sweat in this pack. Uh, he's actually my day one starter at DT. He's a dog, 85 speed powered up. In this pack, we get three elites, but three 80s and 81 overalls. So, you know, not, not too bad. And here we go with a platinum elite. So we opened up those 15 elite packs. These platinum players is really where I make my coins. So right here, we're starting off with Joey Bosa. I believe that's like 40 to 50K, 56, 56K. And if you know me, you know I'm a big Joey Bosa fan. He's won me a lot of money in Madden tournaments. Uh, I end up quick selling him later on. But, you know, if he was a little bit faster, uh, they kind of definitely have nerfed his speed down. I would definitely play him. So right here in our second platinum player, we're going to get Rodney Hudson. And this dude is a animal. 82,000 coins for Rodney Hudson. So these platinum players, man, you got to go cop your sum. Uh, right here, Joel Batonio, not bad at all. Definitely pretty happy about that. Went for like 20 to 30K. And right here, we are going to get Zadarius Smith. So, you know, anything above 80 to 81 overalls are dubs for these platinum player packs. It's right here. We are going to end up pulling a, another Joel Batonio. Right here, we're going to be pulling in this platinum player, Kyle Fuller. I feel like it should be like 81, 82 overall. I don't, what do you think, guys? Another platinum player, uh, punter. Uh, definitely two back-to-back -back L's. But, you know, we've been so fire so far, so I can't complain. As right here, we are going to open up our final platinum player of this elite bundle. And we're going to move on to the next one right now. So right here in our first 
elite pack of the second bundle we get isaiah simmons 76 overall i believe he's decently fast i'm gonna check him out um he's a gold obviously that was in the highlight of the pack i think we got like a 80 overall so nothing too exciting there and right here brandon brooks 85 overall he's actually starting for me as well pass protector archetype we need all of that for you know or you know not to get shed it is right here melvin ingram with fletcher cox right here 86 tulio julio jones newly acquired to the tennessee titans um you know he's only 86 overall which i feel like is a little bit disrespectful but he goes for around 60 to 70k so i'm definitely happy with that you're not going to be able to man him up he is a little slow but he will get the job done every day of the week right here we pull darius slay and hunter henry decent pack it's right here cameron hayward and trey flowers another great pack it's right here final elite pack and it's going to be daniel hunter on to their second round of platinum player packs. Here we go with our last eight platinum player packs. And I love these things, man. These are my money makers. That's right here. We are going to start off with a Jadavion Clowney. You know, 80 overall. I was pretty shocked that he's 80 overall. Um, you know, he's not necessarily above 80 overall. But, like, it's just, like, we're just so used to seeing him higher than that. It's right here. Mike Gusecki in our second one. So, starting off a little slow. But, you know, we're fine. We've definitely made our lot of coins already. And we can't be, you know, mad at all. This is only our second bundle. We still have 35,000 points. It's right here. DK Metcalf. Solid. Very solid. Another 81 overall. So this one is definitely a little slower compared to our first uh, bundle that we've opened up. But I feel like we could heat up. It's right here. 84 LL Collins. You know that's going to give you a dec decent bit of coinage. Right here we got Vaughn Miller. 82,000 coins for Vaughnie Miller. Um, shout out Vaughn Miller. One of my favorites. See right there, 82,000 coins, 85 overall, um, but he's still a dog. As see right here, we have two more platinum player packs. Can we end it off with a bang? 80 overall, DJ Moore, you know, not that great. Uh, I believe they're like 13K for 80 overalls. And last but not least, we are going to get another 80 overall and Kenny Moore. So, you know, those platinum pa player packs were definitely very solid. Um, I definitely recommend you buying those elite and platinum player packs over the gridiron packs. I didn't really have too much success in my gridiron packs. As right here, guess the amount of coins we're going to get from these platinum player packs. We're going to add them all up and quick sell them. Um, not necessarily right now, but look at that. 79, 793,000 coins. And that's just off two bundles, man. I definitely got blessed. Getting like a Miles Garrett, getting like a Vaughn Miller, getting those 85, 86s helped out tremendously in that coin value. So at the end of the packs, I actually end up opening some gridiron packs. So this is at the end of my packs. I actually end up opening two bundles of gridiron packs, which were decent, but I felt like there's really nothing you missed out on. No Ramseys, no Aaron Donalds. Um, but here's our total coin count with the platinum players and comes out to 850,000 coins. And that's going to set me off at a nice head start for Madden 22. I um, only spent like three to four hundred even maybe five hundred dollars not only but you know compared to some other people uh, I definitely got blessed and see all my packs right here all my players that have gotten all those lower level elites decent level elites definitely have some nice value right here I believe I got two Tristan Wirfs two Julio Jones I mean those type of cards are just nice 86 overalls and you know having two of them I could start one maybe or even you know sell both it gives me options it's right here I'm going all the way down the list here my lower end overall elites and i have 779 items in the binder already that's a lot um, these gold players are going to hold hold me value because of those team builder sets so i'm just going to hold on to them for a while and maybe one day i'm just going to uh, post all of them you know it's going to take a minute to sell them all but those are going to be a lot of coins it's right here ramsey's 200k like i said if i could have pulled a donald or something that would have been insane but you know i would gladly take these packs um overall i think it all kind of came out to you know like 1.4 maybe 1.3 mil total adding up all those quick sales as well maybe 1.5 but in a second i'm about to show you my updated team and my day one madden 22 team and see you know the progression of it throughout the year and yeah uh see what we could do now see right here guys i got four hours left tough scene man um, i don't know if there's gonna be an ea access glitch like there usually is but you know four hours i'm gonna get on some head to head talk to my bros and use my four hours in peace because I, I, I'm about to show you my record and you guys will see like what's going on and how I've been doing so far. So right here guys, we have 810,000 coins. I'm going to show you my binder real quick and what's still in there and what still has to sell. Um, 
for the most part, you know, Fletcher Cox, Harrison Butker, got to sell those guys. And everyone else, for the most part, is going to be on the team. Uh, I could probably sell, like, this Calvin Ridley, Chris Carson. These lower-end elites are definitely going to be cleared in my binder very soon. But look how many golds we have, man. It's so many golds. I believe it's, like, 400, 500 plus. And here is the team, man. We got Powered Up Worst, Powered Up Bakhtari, Powered Up Rodney Hudson with Post Up. Our only abilities that we have are Post Up and Josh Allen with Set Feet Lead. You need that, man. Uh, you don't really need it necessarily, but it's definitely nice to have. It gives you a quick release than like Mahomes without it. OJ Howard, Hunter Henry. This probably will be Evan Ingram in a little bit. The gold core, uh, gold, the core gold. Uh, Randy Moss, Raheem Moster, who might be Derrick Henry. I've seen a lot of glitchy things of Henry. Deshaun Jackson, who will be Jamar Chase, who will be Jamar Chase soon, and Tyree Kill. We end up going out and buying the full Tyree Kill. We also need Kyle Pitts. Trevin Morig and JC Horn, but for now we got Sneed, Fabian Moreau, who is one of my favorite corners in the game. Deion Sanders is solid, but hasn't made enough plays for me yet. It's just time will come. Sean Murphy bunting, Nasir Adderley, uh, Darnell Savage, Lorenzo Carter, and Jeremiah Owusu are glitches, man. I'll have to show you guys these guys. Go cop them now. Six foot five, 88 speed. And he, these guys are playing in 3 through 5 wide, so they're making plays. And this guy's 6 foot 2, 89 speed. They're giants. They're freak of nature athletes. Uh, they're not the best in zone, but they are going to be screaming off that edge, allowing you to run that Giants playbook for that 146 defense. We got Quiddy Payne, who Quiddy Pay, who is an 87 speed uh, edge rusher. Vaughn Miller at the other spot, who's 81 speed, but he does shed like crazy. And then we got two options at DT with Montez Sweat with 85 speed, absolute mammoth. And last but not least, Daniel Hunter at 80 speed. See right here, playbooks I'm currently using at the beginning of the year is Panthers offense, Dolphins defense. I'm having a lot of success in it and a very fun to run. To top it off, guys, here is the leaderboard. We are 12 and 0, baby. Um, gonna keep it up. Undefeated for now. I mean, there are a couple people that are undefeated, but I'm about to get out back on it, man, and have some more fun. Uh, there should be a mutt head-to-head -head gameplay on the way for you guys very soon. My first mutt head-to-head -head gameplay besides playing K-Mac. And that game was a sweaty. I play another guy running Carolina Bunch. And we can't stop each other, man. Be on the lookout for that. It's a lot of fun. But till next time, guys, I will catch you guys in the next episode of Madden 22, whatever it may be. Till next time, boys, take it easy.